going on guys uh very excited today with this uh, review for you guys uh this is the samsung galaxy tab s the newest samsung galaxy tablet with the new octa core processor so this should be very quick uh very good performance so let's go ahead and start with the specs right now we're gonna uh, take a look at the camera the speakers screen resolution we're gonna play some games so let's go ahead and start right now all right guys so let's uh, take a quick look here at the tablet first before we go ahead and start with the review so of course uh, we have the front facing camera right here uh, we have a full 1080p display uh, recent applications right here home and back here on this side we have a speaker with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the other side we have the usb port a regular usb port now the 3.0 uh, micro sd card reader that supports uh, up to 64 gigabyte another speaker right here on top of the tablet we have the ir blaster we have volume rocker and we have the power button and then on the back of the tablet we have the 8 megapixel rear camera with flash uh, the rear camera can shoot video in 1080p at 30 frames per second uh, these uh, bottoms right here guys are for a uh, keyboards and cases that they're going to be making for this tablet uh, you're going to be able to attach uh, the keyboard and the cases uh, to these uh, bottoms uh, right here as far as the finish on the tablet we don't have any more that uh, leather looking material uh, this is uh, just a soft plastic and it has some pattern here on the back and it doesn't uh, attract any fingerprints or anything like that so that's good so with that being said uh, let's go ahead and start with the benchmarking scores all right guys so we have the results here for the quadrant test and uh, we're running the tablet right now in the high performance mode and uh, we got a score of uh, 19,757 points let's go ahead and take a look at the Anturu scores now all right here's the score for Anturu benchmark uh, program uh, we got a uh, 35,568 points uh, that's a pretty good score uh, just for reference uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 3 also scores around 35 or 36,000 points. So let's go ahead and now uh, start with something else. All right, friends, uh, let's go ahead and start with the specs on this tablet. And I'm going to be reading some of the specs here since I don't know all the specs on the top of my head. Uh, we have the latest version of Android 4.4.2. Uh, like I said, we have a 10 inch uh, display. Uh, resolution on the display is at uh, 2560 by 1600 pixels. Uh, 288 ppi or pixel density super amoled de technology on the display uh, 8 megapixel rear camera with a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera uh, 1080p uh, it's a maximum uh, video recording at 30 frames per second on the rear camera uh, we have a processor octa core uh, and uh, ram memory is a uh, 3 gig of ram uh, the storage uh, comes in 16 and 32 this uh, particular unit is a 16 gigabyte uh, internal storage supports a micro sd card reader up to 128 gigabyte uh, battery it's uh, 7900 milliamp so that's a pretty good battery so those are the main specs and uh, with that guys i want to go ahead and start with uh, the camera application all right, friends, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the camera. Here's the camera application. And uh, the, the camera interface uh, looks uh, pretty nice. Uh, kind of the same interface as other uh, Samsung Galaxy tablets. Uh, right here, we have the camera bottom. Uh, it takes uh, pictures uh, pretty quick. Uh, right here, we got the recording option and we can pause the recording we can continue the recording we can take pictures as we are recording and right there we stop the recording uh, right here in the right corner we got a quick preview uh, and access to the gallery from the last picture uh, right here on top we have an indicator of uh, the flash we can do uh, set up the automatic flash uh, i believe that will allow to take pictures faster let's see yeah uh on top right here we got the front facing camera there's the front facing camera guys and i'm recording with my uh, high definition glasses uh right here we get access to the settings of the camera uh right here we get access to the camera resolution you can go all the way up to 8 megapixel uh, right now i'm using the 6 megapixel in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio 
Uh, other than that, we have the burst uh, shot, picture stabilization, face detection. Uh, you can tap on the screen to take pictures uh, as far as the video resolution. Like I told you, uh, maximum resolution is uh, 1080 at uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, you can also record in 720 and you can do VGA. That's as far as the recording resolution. Uh, recording mode, it offers you normal limit for email size and fast motion. They don't offer slow motion on this tablet. Uh, you get the video stabilization, you get video effects, and uh, we can change uh, some effects uh, right here. Uh, you get a, a flash, you get a timer, you get video mode, you get a full screen or uh, this uh, other mode that is more uh, landscape. And of course, uh, GPS and location and right here you can access control the flash. Uh, right here under mode, uh, we get different modes. And uh, one of the cool things uh, about this uh, uh, tablet is that they offer the dual camera. And as you guys can see, uh, we can be recording with the, both cameras at the same time and you can change how the second camera looks like here by clicking on these uh, different options. So that's as far guys as uh, the camera interface and features and uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, later a couple of uh, samples of uh, pictures and video. Alright, as far as the browsers, the tablet comes with two different browsers, the stock browser that we see right here and also comes with uh, Google Chrome. Of course, uh, you can download more browsers if you want. Let's go ahead and start taking a look here at the uh, stock browser. And uh, so this is how the tabs uh, looks like. You get a menu right here to uh, uh, do different configurations. You can also add favorites uh, right there. And then uh, we can click right there to add tabs. Here's the Samsung page and they're offering all the different devices and Here's where they are advertising this uh, particular tablet, 4 million pixels. Let's go ahead and open a different page and let's go to, um, let's see if we can do here. Uh, and let's go ahead and actually type here Yahoo. Yahoo.com, click on go. And we are connected to a very uh, fast uh, Wi-Fi. Um, 50 megabyte download. Here's uh, the access to Yahoo. Let's see if we can go ahead and open a couple of uh, articles here. And as you guys can see, it opened the pages uh, pretty quick. So that's as far as the stock browser. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at Google Chrome. And uh, this is Yahoo page. And let's see if we can do some uh, uh, voice search here. CNN.com. And there is a CNN. And I believe I have the volume. Yeah, there's the volume. And let's see if we can zoom in and zoom out here. So zoom in and zoom out, very responsive. And as you guys can see, the text looks also very, very clear because of the pixels and the high definition screen. Uh, that's as far as uh, Google Chrome right here. Of course, uh, we get the settings. And uh, let's go ahead and open one more page here and let's go to uh, Telemundo. And there is uh, Telemundo. So pretty good. Uh, both uh, browsers, uh, they open the pages uh, pretty quick and they work uh, really good. So that's as far as the browsers. Now, as far as the interface of the tablet, we get the uh, three screens and basically uh, I see that Samsung has been doing uh, three screens on uh, most of the tablets. So this is one screen, uh, this is the other one. And if we go this way, this is the other screen that we get. Let's start from here. Uh, we get the paper garden application basically to uh, buy magazines. I'm not gonna go through all these guys, but just to show you so you guys have an idea. Here's an application, application called Here and Now. And this is the application called Samsung Watch On which basically is going to allow you to watch uh, your TV, control the TV and control your cable box uh, using the tablet with the IR blaster that we see on top. Uh, right here on the left, uh, we see quick briefing and you can add bookmarks right here and you got some settings. Um, you get the application side sync, which is going to allow you to uh, basically transfer the screen off the cell phone and look at it on the tablet. And we're going to show you that later. 
uh, you cannot hear the alarm, uh, no, uh, you cannot events to the calendar, and you cannot uh, stock information. Going this way, uh, we get uh, you know another screen with different applications. Here's a folder, and uh, going to the next one, we get a widget here called My Library Galaxy Essentials. So basically, you can download application from Samsung. Uh, you get another application right here, Galaxy Gift and uh, more apps uh, down here, more space for different applications. So as far as the app driver, we click right there in the corner. Here's the app driver. As you guys can see, the tablet moves uh, very, very quick. Here in the corner, we get a menu to edit, create a folder, view type. Uh, you can basically co uh, customizable grid or do alphabetical grid. Uh, what else we have here? Downloaded applications. You can only install or disable apps, hide applications, access to Galaxy Essentials, and, and then help. Uh, now, in order to add something to the desktop, basically just a hard press, and that's going to add the icon to the screen. Uh, if we hard press on the screens, you're going to access to uh, get access to wallpapers and widgets. And uh, here's a quick look at the widgets. And then if we swipe down, uh, we get right here the quick settings and uh, we click on this one and it shows uh, all the settings now. And then if we click right here, that's uh, the actual settings of the tablet. This is uh, in four categories, uh, connections, device, general and applications. Uh, here's a device, here's a general. And just so you guys see power saving is off. And this is the application menu. So that's as far as the interface of the tablet. Let's go ahead and take a look at something else now. All right, guys, so let's uh, take a quick look here at the uh, maps and navigation. And we're looking at the satellite mode uh, right now. Here's a zoom in and zoom out, zoom out of the maps, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and do some search here. As you guys can see, the tablet moves uh, pretty quick. And there you have it. So that's uh, maps and navigation uh, on the satellite mode. And as you guys can see, the buildings looks uh, pretty cool with the 3D effect. One cool application that comes with the tablet is the Hamcom Office uh, Viewer. Basically, this application is going to allow you to uh, open, edit, or create different uh, Word or Microsoft Office uh, uh, documents. And I have a couple of samples here to show you guys. Uh, this one is uh, H cell, which uh, basically will be your Excel. And uh, I was actually trying to create something here. This is just to show you guys, uh, you know, the things that you can do. I was trying to create a graphic right here. And uh, as you guys can see, pretty much it looks just like Excel. And uh, let's take a look here at this uh, SH uh, show. I'm sorry. Uh, this will be pretty much like a PowerPoint. So as you guys can see, you know, pretty useful application for those people that are uh, need to use uh, Microsoft Office uh, if you have a tablet like this one. Couple of other software that we see here on the tablet is a Dropbox uh, application. Uh, basically, once uh, you sign in or create an account, I believe you can uh, uh, take pictures and send them uh, to the Dropbox, and then uh, basically access, uh, like you say right here, access uh, docs from your computer when on the go. Uh, so that's as far as the uh, Dropbox. Uh, we also have right here the Drive. So you can access the uh, uh, Google Drive application uh, from different uh, machines. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, we have the Flipboard application. We also have the translator. We have video editor. We have the gear feed manager. We have the gear manager. And we have a story album to create a, kind of like a slideshow presentation with pictures. We also have the e-meeting application and scrapbook. All right, guys, so we're going to take a look now at the game uh, Dead uh, Trigger 2. So you guys can see the graphics, uh, the screen resolution, and I'm going to turn up uh, the volume all the way up so you guys can also hear the quality on the speakers and, uh, of course, uh, the performance of the tablet. So let's go ahead and turn this off and start with the game.
guys, so here's a quick look at YouTube playing a video in 1080p. We can uh, maximize uh, the screen. Go back, drag it to the corner or close the video. So as you guys can see, played uh, the videos on YouTube in 1080p pretty good. Here's a quick look at uh, Google Voice or Google Search. How old is uh, Barack Obama? Obama is 52 years old. What's the population of United States? The population of United States of America was 313.9 million in 2012. All right, check this out, guys. So, what's the population of China? The population of China was 1.351 billion in 2012. Wow, that's a lot of people there. Alright guys, so now we have here the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 3 joining this uh, video review. Um, what do you guys think so far of the tablet? Pretty cool, huh? So anyway, so we're going to take a look now at the application called SideSync, which uh, basically is going to allow you to uh, transfer the screen on the phone uh, on the computer. So we're going to turn on the Wi-Fi right here. And uh, as you guys can see, it's aut authenticating right now the network. And uh, we're go it's uh, as you guys can see, it's scanning right now. And we should see our device here in a few seconds. All right, guys. So as you guys can see now, the tablet and the or the application it's uh, reading right here my device or my phone. I'm gonna click right there, and we should see uh, the screen of uh, the cell phone right here on the computer. And as you guys can see, my screen turn off. This is super super cool. And uh, basically, guys, uh, this is looking at my phone right now on the tablet. So as I'm doing other things. You know, as you guys can see, the phone stays right there. I can get access to my phone and to other things on the tablet at the same time. So, for example, if I want to open Facebook, I click right there. And uh, there is a Facebook. And uh, here's my home uh, button. I'm going to click right there and exit. Uh, you know, I can go here. I can access uh, YouTube. Everything from the computer i'm sorry from the from the tablet by accessing this uh, virtual uh, phone basically accessing my screen uh on the tablet so as you guys can see there is a uh, youtube so this is a really really cool application here's my app drawer i really really like this and it looks like you can maximize it and you can look at the uh, uh, screen of your phone in a bigger size or you can have it like this so you can do other things at the same time so that's the application called uh, size sync and uh, let's take a look now at the watch on application now if for some reason you need to go back to the phone you're just gonna click uh, home right here and as you guys can see it's gonna say phone is uh, currently in use and then you can keep using your phone or click right there and switch to tablet. Now the screen on the phone turns off and then it's back on the tablet. All right, guys, uh, last but not least, uh, we have the application right here, Samsung Watch On. And basically this is the application that is gonna allow you to uh, control your TV and your cable box uh, with the IR blaster that we see right there on top. So all we have to do is just uh, access this right here. And as you guys can see, it gives you a little preview of, uh, you know, what movie it's uh, on right now based on your uh, cable provider. So we're going to click right there. And as you guys can see, I have the TV on uh, Univision uh, channel. And I can click right here on uh, uh, watch this channel. And it's going to change the channel. As you guys can see it changes the channel i can click right here on the little remote and i can change the channel manually here and as you guys can see it's changing 
I can also type uh, the numbers. So for example, let's uh, do uh, channel 70. And there is uh, the channel. And of course, uh, you can access right here uh, different shows. You can go back here and access all the different shows available depending on your uh, cable provider. So if you guys haven't used the IR Blaster and you have it uh, on your phone or your tablet, use it. It's a really, really cool application. Again, let's uh, go back here to channel 30. And there you have it, it works out pretty good. what's going on guys and this is a quick sample here in 1080p with the rear camera of uh, the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S this is a new octa-core uh, Samsung tablet guys uh that's all i have for right now what do you guys think a pretty good tablet huh i have to be honest with you i was expecting a higher benchmarking scores by uh this tablet having an octa core processor pretty much uh my samsung galaxy note uh, 3 uh scores are all the same and it's a, a quad core processor my understanding and the way the octa core works is basically let's say you're playing music and then you're browsing the net the uh, internet uh, well, uh, some of the processors are going to be dedicated to, uh, for example, the music. So as you're browsing the internet, it's not affecting the speed or the performance of the phone because some processors are dedicated to the music and some processors are dedicated to the web browsing. This is just to give you guys an idea. So anyway, so this was the Samsung Galaxy Tab S, the newest Samsung Galaxy tablet with the octa-core processor. Price on this is uh, $399 with a 16 gigabyte uh, internal storage. Pretty cool tablet, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Share the video if you like it. And we will see you later on the next one. Goodbye.